Welcome to the video. Just quickly, to celebrate the Revenant arc of this account, I am pleased to be bringing you four desk mats from the Cannabis Chunk collab with Amentos. You can find these over at FreyRS.com and they really are items of beauty. I'll start off with my personal favourite, Face Off. This is the one that I've personally ordered and honestly it just looks so so good. The second is Ferox Discovery, a really stunning landscape of Ferox Enclave, really showing it off as the island of hope that it is to many a wilderness traveller. The third is a real throwback to the start of Cannabis Chunk called Blood, Death and Nightmares. And the fourth is a shot that occurs later in the video called The Light, for reasons that will hopefully make themselves apparent later on. There is only 100 of each available due to Jagex terms and conditions, so if your desk needs a bit of a refresh and you're a fan of this series so far, please pick one up before they are all gone. I will appreciate all the purchases as each one gets me closer and closer to being able to do this full time and bring you more and more videos. Once again, head over to FreyRS.com to check out all the desk mats and please make sure to enjoy the rest of the video. Right. Let's start off this video how we mean to go on and how we mean to go on is using an avarice and not dying at all. So let's get stuck in, kill some of these very, very quickly and hopefully get the mace before we lose the avarice. Oh, we love to see a genie. So much more aesthetically pleasing than Count Check, isn't he? Let's keep chucking it in Slayer. I don't know if in the last video I showed, but I did get 30 Slayer, so we're making some pretty nice progress on that. It's still about four or five lamps per level, which is really not too bad. Um, hopefully, if I can get out of the wilderness fairly soon, that will increase as well, because I still don't have the random event log completed because I can't get most of the outfit random events in the wilderness. So hopefully, that can change soon. I absolutely love having the Avarice. Look at that. I've had literally no good drops at all. And we've got two mil in the looting bag in one trip. So, so nice. Just Also, just stacking the Manta Rays, stacking the Super Restores, stacking the Rune Item. Oh, it's just so good. So, good, so good. I hope I keep it for a long time. Oh, and the first drop of the video is the old one mil Ancient Totem. Why would I ever think it'd be anything else? Nice little looting bag. Oh, three mil in the looting bag. That's pretty big. That's huge. I've definitely made about five mil in less than an hour. So that is very, very nice indeed. I'm pretty sure I just killed one of these revenants that a bot was halfway through and it dropped an ancient crystal. So there may be an ancient crystal. You are fucking kidding me. Oh my god, I literally just booted up the recording to show that the ancient crystal had in fact dropped. And we got another fucking ancient, another Theremin Scepter. You are joking me. Oh, make it stop. I mean, it looks pretty nice on the ground, I must say. It's been a long while since I got one. How many is that now? I think that's nine. Yeah, nine scepters, 70,554 kill count. Let's grab that boy and take it to the bank. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so tragic. That is so tragic. I can't believe I booted up the recorder to show that ancient crystal and that shit just dropped on the floor. Oh my god. I'll tell you what though, we've got nine scepters. The ten scepters before Vigora's chain mace is now actually so on. We, they've got an equal chance from this point of happening. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, eh? We could ha get 10 of one drop before getting one of another drop that have exactly the same rate. I would love to know if any of you guys have got anything similar to that. 10 of one drop before getting one. That is like flipping a coin 10 times in a row and getting heads. That must be unlikely. Oh, an ancient crystal for real this time. Come on, hopefully. I'm, I'm liking the fact that I'm actually getting a decent amount of uniques. It's been a long time since I got anything useful. It's 12,000 kills since I got that uh, scepter. Like, as in, that scepter was the first weapon I've had in 12,000 kills. So nice just to finally get some items shouted out in the, uh, the game chat, to be honest. Oh, here we go. We could be in trouble here. This guy has 
got some decent levels. He's 119 combat, so I might die to that. Okay, right. I'm going to die there. Oh, there's the Avarice gone. That was just really shit play from me, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of deserved to lose that Avarice, to be honest. Oh, that's annoying because I had quite a lot of loot on me, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know why on that one I was just, like, not eating. That was just bizarre. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just was, I was too obsessed with crossing and not obsessed enough with clicking the food. That was just a real epic fail from me. Didn't even take all my stuff. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll take the teleports. They might be useful in the future. And that I don't necessarily need to carry those around with me. There we go. Ten little teleports that we that we had in the looting bag. We shall take those. One day they may be useful. And if we chuck our equipped items into the bank, there is a one point one bill bank value. That is looking particularly massive right now. One point oh three bill in the loot tab crazy stuff i mean look at some of these stacks over a thousand now in nearly all of the rune items eight thousand eight hundred mahogany planks that is a lot of construction xp one day three thousand runite ores two thousand runite bars i mean that alone is like seven hundred and fifty thousand smithing xp or something like that the addy bars as well the coal just all of this stuff is just so so valuable to me um either now or one day but either way 1.1 bill achieved absolutely massive non-avarice looting bag 1.3 mil in the looting bag plus what another 160 240 another sort of three basically a 1.7 mil trip without an avarice that is massive right We've gone absolutely sailing past 71,000, so that is the first 1,000 kills of the video done. And all we have to show for it is yet another scepter. Hopefully the next 1,000 kills can be somewhat nicer to us. Uh oh, another ancient crystal. At least it's something to look at, I guess. So these are the bots that are showing up at the moment. Um, There's these, like... So they, they, they do the same thing as usual, which is either log out or frame age or run away. But they're unsculled and they use Webweaver only. Um, I haven't seen like any magic shortbow bots at all. So I think there's only like one or two farms running at the moment. And for some reason, they've gone with the Webweaver instead of uh, the MSB Avarice combo. No idea why. Possibly, I think the reason is that when the bots broke last week, we found out that it was because they were stacking up their loot and never banking. So because you've got an avarice and all your drops are noted, um, you get like every you don't need to ever bank because your invent never fills up all the way unless you get like loads of uniques and emblems. So there was bots with like looting bags with like twenty mil in that were just not banking because of some error in the script. And PKs were killing them for like over 20 mil at a time. So after that, all the bots broke. And then now only these uh, Webweaver ones are showing up. And because they're using a Webweaver, they're not using an Avarice, right? And therefore the looting bag does fill up. And therefore they kind of are forced to bank every so often. Um, so it probably stops them doing what they were doing before, which was getting way too much uh, loot in their invent by accident. Look away from my client for one second <laughs> and I'll pull an ancient relic. How long has that been on the floor? Probably quite a while. Oh, not too bad, I guess. We take the money printing. Oh, one day one day I'll look back and that pink text will be a Vigorous chain mace. Come on, let's kill the let's kill this demon and see if we can get anything. If I don't chime back in shortly, I didn't get anything. And we're up to nine ancient relics in the bank now, which by itself is a hundred and what forty four mil GP? <laughs> that's crazy. Add that to our twelve of those. That's ninety six. So that is what two hundred and forty million GP just in those two stacks. There, that is mental. One mil totems. You love to see them. Oh, it's just raining GP today. That's sixteen mil, one mil, and now this four mil. We're all in about the space of. An hour, maybe? <laughs> so we are drowning in GP. We love the formal emblems, though. They just look so, so nice on the ground. Let's grab that. 
and head to the bank. And there is 96 hit points and 91 combat. Only three levels to go until level 99. That seems nuts to me. I cannot believe I've done basically, you know, as near as makes no difference, level like 10 hit points to level 99 in one chunk. <laughs> I actually am going to hit 99 as well, aren't I? So I've done some research uh, since one of the last videos, and I found out that the one of the rank, like top ranking um, uh, accounts for the collection log did 73,000 kills um, at the Revenants. Um, that was the driest I'd ever heard of previously. I asked him if he had seen anyone go drier than himself, and he pointed me to an Iron Man called, I think, Rusio 2 or something like that, who has, who, for his Vigorous Train Mace, went 100,716 dry. So, we're not too far off that, but we still got, what, 29,000 to go. So, 29,000 more kills, that'll put us as the driest ever, but... Yeah, we're not too far away. So if we go to 100,000, that will be 99 hit points, I'm pretty sure. So crazy, crazy stuff and crazy times ahead, I am sure. Well, I guess that's some easy GP, isn't it? I'd love to know. How many do you think of those I've got now? It must be, what, 40-something? Uh, 45. <laughs> that is mental, isn't it? Oh, I'm actually getting a decent amount of a Maledictus kill. I'm on at a weird time, so I think the people's bots aren't in the world to um, scout for them. But I've not got enough food to kill it, so I think I'm going to have to bank and come back and hope that no one finds it in the meantime. Look at this, though. I'm actually totally killing it. This isn't too bad. Wish I had the Avarice right now. I'd be hitting so much harder. No, I went to the bank and someone hit it and clearly fucked off immediately afterwards. So now I'm basically going to finish the kill because I want this world. But I'm not going to get the loot. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, that's so, so annoying. Oh, oh well, at least it proves that I can, in theory, get a world long enough to uh, get a Maledictus kill. So that's pretty cool. And I can, in theory, kill it if I have a very, very full invent of food. So, one day when I have an avarice with me, um, and play actually well rather than getting hit by those things, uh, I reckon I could get one of these. And there it goes, basically soloed by me, but I do not get the loot, I don't think, which is very fucking lame, and it essentially dropped nothing. Brilliant. Oh, that's so annoying. Like, one guy must have stepped in, hit it once, and then fucked off again. That is so annoying. Oh, I guess we take those on almost the last kill of the trip, don't we? Could have had one from a Maledictus, though, couldn't I? I it's not even the money. I just I kind of wanted just the achievement of having killed one uh, whilst in the chunk. It's not, a, like, official goal, but it's kind of like a little soft goal of mine. But, oh, well, we take the one mil. Oh, ancient crystals go <laughs> I really need to get better at the R roll.
Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We just got it right. I need to shut this in there. No, open it up. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. I fucked it up by putting the lean back. Oh my god, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, download that. Right, I need to make sure that I log out if we see anyone. Oh my god, Vigorous Chain Mace. Oh my god, it's done! <sighs> I totally missed it because I wasn't even looking! Oh my god, I'm literally dead. Right, okay, he's not any worry to me. Okay, they're not any worry to me. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, right. I can't believe I just got that. Oh my god, my heart is actually going like fucking crazy. <sighs> okay, right, can we get back? Can we get back? Come on. No. Don't get on me. <sighs> okay. And that is where the reaction clip finishes. I banged the desk and for some reason that just corrupted the recording. Like, I still had the visuals but not the audio. And then when I went to save it properly, it lost the visuals as well. So that's where the reaction clip finished. But... Let's talk about the loot that we got from the Revenant Chunks, how it's useful for either now or in the future. So firstly, the obvious ones, the three weapons. Nine Scepters, great magic weapon, charged staff, similar to a Trident of the Seas outside of the wilderness and firmly best in slot magic inside the wilderness. The Crossbow, two of these still on the account, best in slot bow for me pretty much everywhere. Likely for a long time as well. Um, the Vigorous Chain Mace, 1,200 hours to get, but a lifetime to enjoy. Essentially a Dragon Scimitar outside the wilderness, and again, firmly best in slot within it. Huge item to have. Um, to pair with these, we've received 2,850 bracelets of Ethereum. That's 712,000 weapon charges when broken down. Fortunately, you can use the mace specifically outside the wilderness without using charges. So we can stretch that 712,000 a bit, but that's all we have until we need to go back to the Revenants to get some more, which is slightly scary as a thing to think about. Um, we also received two Amulet of Avarice. Well, we received eight Amulet of Avarices, but we've still got two Amulet of Avarices. Uh, so we've got a main one and a spare. Um, and outside the wilderness, they function the same as a amulet of glory, except your skull. Um, so it means we've got a pretty good general purpose amulet moving forward. Uh, secondly, the cash. We received 15 emblems, 46 totems, 21 statuettes, 12 medallions, 14 effigies, and 12 relics. Totaled together... That is 449 mil. In training our magic up to 95 and accessing the Revenant Caves for a price of 100k per death, we've already cashed in about 90 mil of this number, and we also have about 23 mil of that remaining. So that leaves us with a total of 382 mil in pure gold that I can access within the next 20 minutes. So that is massive. Um, in addition to this, we also have 193 dragon plate skirts, 180 dragon legs, 525 dragon long swords, 448 dragon daggers, 1,300 and no, 1,031 rune full helms, 1,068 rune plate bodies, 1,131 rune plate legs, 948 rune kite shields, and 1,071 rune warhammers. This means with less than 6 hours of alking, we could quite easily increase that by an additional 265 mil. So, in theory, we have a total of 647 mil in raw GP that we could access today if I really needed to. So that is an absolutely massive stockpile of stuff to have. Um, thirdly, resources. So we've got 90,000 blood runes and 56,000 death runes. They should be huge for magic in the future. I don't really have much need to use them yet because we have the scepter, but that's pretty big. 
um, 139 U seeds and 209 Magic seeds, which equates to 4.3 mil in farming XP, like rapid farming XP as well. Um, we of course have to get 60 farming first, but if we can, that will be massive. Um, additionally, I received uh, 9,070 mahogany planks, uh, which is roughly 1.27 mil construction XP. And perhaps the biggest of them all, we received a ton of smithing supplies. So smithing is going to be one of the toughest grinds we have at some point going forward. And we've got 7,017 Adi bars, 1,974 rune bars, 3,066 rune ore, and 64,547 coal. So having done the math on that, I believe this equates to roughly 970 thousand banked smithing xp so unless i get insanely lucky on the rolls moving forward we have close to a million smithing xp bank which is likely to save me dozens if not hundreds of hours depending on how terrible the method is we unlock eventually um in addition to the stuff that i've just just listed um we also have some pretty big stacks of items that may be useful in the future but i just not too tangible for me right now in terms of how useful they'll be. Um, 963 dragon stones, 3,451 onyx and 14,807 dragon stone bolt tips respectively, 1,753 black dragon hide, 4,291 battle staffs and even 31 ancient crystals. Uh, ancient crystals are the item that you use to make the wilderness obelisk in the player owned house. You only need four, and I have 31, so it's a bit overkill, but nonetheless, interesting. Um, so it might have taken a long time, 1,200 hours to be exact, but the loot that I've received along the way, as well as the account progress I've made in terms of skills, 75 fire making, 87 fletching, 89 agility, 95 magic, and even my first 99 on the account range, have made it all worth it. Oh, all that and the memories. Good luck to me. Holy fuck! That was diabolical! Oh, look at that! 8 million GP! Look at that! Yeah, we got smited for the crossbow. There it is, 27 Hunter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I did him so good. Okay, I'm gonna run and pretend to jump. See ya! <laughs> Werewolf agility, lap count one. Oh shit, boys, we got a Tharaman Scepter! Let's grab it and go! Honestly, the worst shit talker. I had a great shag last night with your mum. Oh my god! Oh my god, we just got it! You are done. See ya! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, not again. We just got a theremin scepter. You are fucking kidding me. Not again. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Fuck off. You're fucking kidding me. God, this has got to be a dream. Nothing this bad could ever happen in reality. <laughs> a guy just tried to get me with Darox and I killed him. Okay, I think I'm going to try and fake him, see if that works. No! No! <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Please! I, I just logged in! I literally... Right, look at the time. Look, 49 seconds. I literally just logged in. Killed one fucking thing. And got no... Fuck off! Oh, you're taking a piss! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We just got it right. I need to shut this in there. Now, my recorder cancelled halfway through uh, that Vigorous Chainmace clip, and I've only just realised. So what I've lost is the end of the Vigorous Chainmace clip, where I'm getting hyped at the bank and, you know, basically wanking over my bank, and uh, a bunch of stuff explaining what I was going to do next. So what I'm doing next is coming to the experiments and just finishing off 60 Defence, which is one of the only things that we need left. So in terms of things we've got left, 60 Defence... Uh, because I got past 25 Slayer as well, I also need to equip a Mirror Shield, which is just buy it from a shop, which is fine. And I also need to do two steps of the Children of the Sun quest, which will take no time as well. So basically, as soon as we've got 60 defense, we're ready to roll, which is very exciting. Um, I'm doing this outside the wilderness, so obviously if I charged the Vigorous Chain Mace with uh, Aether, I could use it within the wilderness. And it would hit a lot higher. At the moment, I'm only hitting a 14. Inside the wilderness, that would be a 21. Um, but my reason for not doing so is that I can use the mace without using ether, particularly outside the wilderness. So I know I've got a lot of ether now. I've got 2,850 bracelets, which is akin to 712,000 ether. But that sounds like a lot. But it will not last forever because, you know, most accounts don't use the mace, the bow and the scepter as like their main weapons. They're just a weapon that can be used. Uh, whereas this is going to be these are going to be my main weapons for probably a long, long time. It's unlikely I'm going to get anything better unless I roll something like the fear of blood. And even then that doesn't give me a good range weapon. So the chance of me foregoing all of those weapons anytime soon is close to nil so i do need to try and maintain ether in the long run and this is very afk lets me do some editing stuff on the side and i can just kind of crack through it even though it's slightly slower so the vigorous chain mace is essentially a dragon scimitar without being charged so what i got from that chunk and finally got i'm so happy i've got it just look how good it looks um what i've got essentially is a dragon scimitar which is pretty good like not many people are dragging scimitar. I'm hitting 14s, which looks pretty lame. But bear in mind, I'm also only 57 strength. And I'm not using any prayers. So that will only go up. I'm going to try and use the, the melee setup as my main setup going forward. Because it would be nice to bring the melee stats up something similar to the range and the mage. I mean, they're very high. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be working on melee next. But, yeah, it's done. And we've only got a small amount to go. Just because we actually had been knocking out the 89 agility and 87 fletching, 75 fire making out all along. And they were the big skilling goals in this chunk. So it feels really, really nice to get that chain mace and basically be done. Um, so yeah, we're up to 53 defense at the moment. Seven levels to go. Shouldn't take too long. Possibly four or five hours, something like that. But yeah, it's... God, I, I, you've got no idea how happy I am. I... It, 72,000 revenants. I don't, I can't actually remember if I showed the log in the clip that's like how much of the clip survived. But we've got the green log down there. That looks beautiful. And then there is a log. 72,272 kills. Wow. Eight avarice, nine scepters, five bows, and one chain mace. Look at that. That is stunning. And it just looks so, so good in my hands. So good. This is like a decent gear setup, eh? And especially once I get 60 defense, I'll be able to use dragon plate legs and a dragon med helm. So that'll be even cooler. Oh, I'm so happy. And there is 55 defense, just five levels and just over 100,000 XP to go. Shouldn't take too long. Oh God, still looking at that mace makes me happy. Right, we just grabbed ourselves a count check lamp. Let's chuck that into Slayer, and there is level 31. Don't think that's going to get us anything, but it's one step closer to level 45. So I think there's nothing more appropriate for me to kill for the final level than a Svetlana werewolf. Why not? May as well get stuck in, eh? Um, long time coming, this level. Glad I held off for as long as I did. I think it made the Rev Caves a bit easier. But it, it, it is level... Oh, God! That was a good time to lose my voice. Level 60 defense. 
pretty huge and the last major goal that we need in this chunk. So that's exciting. Only a couple tiny little more things that we need to do. And we're finally done, which just seems absolutely crazy to me. Crazy, crazy stuff. Right, let's equip the dragon armor that we need so that we can uh, tick off a quip dragon armor in the chunk picker. Dragon med helm equipped and dragon plates get equipped. I think that looks better than the legs. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. That's like kind of proper gear almost, isn't it? That's not even bad. Um, so on the list of things that we still need to do, we need to buy ourselves a mirror shield and equip that. And that is our 25 slayer task done. And then aside from that, we just need to go and do as much of the quest Children of the Sun as we can, which looks pretty easy. Talk to Alina and Noah in Varrock Square, so let's get on with that. Okay, here they are. Let's just go through the chat dialogues. Start Children of the Sun, yes. Talk to Alina east of Varrock Square, okay. Uh, oh, boring cutscene, as always. Okay, so looking at the next step of this quest, I can't do it because I'd have to go down here and round this building here, which I can't do due to this chunk. So we are done for now, and that's as much of the quest as we can do until we roll south. Exciting stuff. Right, so I think with that, and if we grab these weapons as well, all of that stuff in the bank, with that and these weapons... We have officially finished the Revenant chunk. We got all the weapons. We have the Revenant green log completely done. We have the 89 agility, the 87 fletching, 75 fire making, 60 defense. Ah, <sighs> it's done. I don't know how many days that was, but we're done. And it's time to roll some new chunks. Well, I say some, maybe just one if we roll something awful. Hopefully not. So here we are back in the chunk picker. What do we want to get and what do we want to avoid? So the main things we want to avoid are the monastery. One in 30 chance of getting that. Also corp. We can't roll that yet, but it would just be account ending or we'd have to skip it but you know there's five chunks that could roll you know directly onto it so yeah that's not ideal either um things that we do want uh barrows that would be pretty awesome that's a lot of cool gear that we can get and would also be pretty unique to my series uh the cooking cake i feel like i could get that relatively achievably now i've got a fat huge cash stack um, so that could be quite fun as well, and I feel like getting a cool cape on the account would be pretty awesome. But other than that, let's just get stuck in. There's only so much suspense we can build, and let's go. Oh, as it turns out, there is a little bit more suspense we can build. If you're going to subscribe to one video, please make it this one. The animation cost several hundreds of dollars. The chunk took five months to complete. My dedication to this is insane, and it only gets more insane the more of you subscribe. So please, if you've ever not subscribed to this channel before now, please consider doing so for this video. Let's get into the chunk roll. Ooh, what's that? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Okay, right, that's, that's, a, that's a decent one. Um... What does that get for us? So there's a hops patch there, but we can't train our farming via um, via raking. And also our 1 in 16 um, rate, uh, what's it called? Our like 1 in 16 drop rate stops us having to do too much bullshit farming. So that is fine. Um, other than that, there's some just fairly generic tasks. So it looks like we're, we can now, for some reason, do a bit more of Ghosts Ahoy. Uh, not entirely sure why, but we can. Um, and we need to get these guarding, guarding boots. I don't know if that's a rare drop or what. Uh, medium task here of craft a coif in the Lumbridge cow pen, which I can't do actually, because that's a partial, oh no, oh I can. Yeah, I can, because I can get into the cow pen. 
Okay, and I can tan it over in Canopus. I, I bet that's not how they planned on doing it. Kill the cow here, go all the way over to Canopus to tan the hide, and then come all the way back here to craft it. My bet is they planned on you going to Alcarid, but that is the beauty of chunk counts. And then, so that was the easy one, was it? And then what's the medium? Oh, no, that was the medium one. What's the easy one? Uh, chop and burn some oak logs in Lumbridge. Can we do that? Uh, possibly, if these are oak logs and they count. Uh, so by the looks of it, I guess I can't get over the other side of the river, right? Um, so I might have to look into partial chunking down here. But do you know what? We're one away from Lumbridge. And that's pretty nuts. That would be, what, woodcutting cape and defense cape, which would be slightly better for me than they would be if it was a starting chunk because I wouldn't have to do it all on men and I've got some proper weapons, but the woodcutting would still take a while. Um, I at least have, what, a black axe, so that wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. And then, what, I need to obtain a coif as well, which is the best in slot because I don't have any range helmets. So I guess that's a slight buff to us. But... That's interesting. That's an interesting chunk to get as the first one. So I've grabbed everything that I think I need for the new chunk. Here is the infamous hole in the fence that I did not know existed for the last 20 years. That is crazy. I just It doesn't compute with me. But this is the chunk that we've just unlocked. So let's take a little look then. We need to go into here and we can unlock like so. And we can just do a bit of an explore. So there are regular trees. Oh, there is an oak in there. Maybe that's the one that it refers to in the chunk picker when it asked me to cut and burn an oak log. Uh, we've obviously got the hops patch here, which we don't have any tasks for because we don't have raking unlocked as a thing. And the drop rate blocks us from the drop rate secondary training method thing blocks us from most seeds, I believe. So that is handy. Um... Chickens could be interesting if we need to get a lot of feathers for some reason. Uh, the far Oh, that's not a farmer. Where is the farmer? Oh, there's the farmer. Okay. Oh, there's an oak tree there, so that's probably what it's referring to when it's asking me to chop some oaks. And the cow pen is there, and we do have access to the gate, because most chunks start on this side of the fence, and I've started on this side. So we do, in fact, have the gate. So if I chop an oak log now, it shouldn't take long with 81 cooking and burn that. Is that going to count? No. Okay, so it might have to be these ones on the other side of the river that is picking up in the chunk picker for being able to do that task. So that cut and burn an oak log in Lumbridge may very well not work for us. Um, try it like as close to the chunk border as I can. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I have been into Lumbridge once or twice. Well, obviously, seeing as I was spawned there. Um, so let's just do this as close as we can. Again, nothing. So I think, yeah, it must be that stuff on the other side of the river. And I can't get into this chunk to go across there. And as far as I can tell, there's no other crossing. So, yeah, Chunk Picker definitely seems to be picking that up wrong, which is okay. Doesn't really matter. Um... So that was one of the small tasks that we had to do. The other one is that we have to kill this farmer until we get some gardening boots. So I might just knock that out real quick and then carry on with the rest of it. So this drop should be a 1 in 64. So shouldn't take too long, though, based on our RNG and the Revenant Caves. Who knows? So whilst I've been killing these farmers, I've had a very brief look at why it's bringing up that Ghost to Hoy task. So I don't think it's anything to do with down here at all i think what it is is it's finally picked up that i can get nettles um because you can get nettles all along this south border of port phasmatis most of them here 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 and here and here but the wiki reckons there are some like just here so if i can kind of path down the way like this and go around the edge i might be able to just grab some nettles from here and therefore progressed to that uh, past that piece in the Ghost to Hoy quest where you got to give the nettle tea to the woman. I think that's what it's picking up, and it didn't pick up before. So I'll I'll add that to my you know, list of things to do, and then we can uh, crack on. 
Okay, there we go. There are the gardening boots. They don't give us any stats and they don't look very good either, but it is a chunk task. It took us 122 farmers. Things you absolutely love to see. So 1 in 64 rate, 122 farmers. That is classic. My Iron Man that I used to have had generally very good RNG. I never really went like significantly over 8 for anything. Looks like this account might be the opposite because that is, you know, not even including the rev chunk. That is not the first time that we have, uh, that we have slacked a bit. So what I need to do now is grab a cow hide from these fellas. Grab that. And then what we need to do is take that all the way to Port Phasmatis. So what we'll do is we'll teleport to Varrock and go from there. Um, and what we need to do is tan that. And then we need to create a coif in the cow pen. So let's go and do that. And whilst we're in uh, kind of in Mauritania, I may as well go and see if I can pick the nettles as well. Right, let's do a quick little drive by on Sabops. Make ourselves one of these. It is just one for a coif, isn't it? <laughs> I hope so, otherwise that's going to be embarrassing. Uh, what? Coif, yeah, okay, it is. Uh, I think it is, anyway. Um, right, let's uh, go over to Port Phasmatis and see if we can grab those nettles. That is my child, coughing via the baby monitor. She's fine. She's just uh, reading a book in her bedroom. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot I can't run this way to get to Port Phasmatis. <laughs> Oh, that's pain. Right, so this is the moment of truth. Can we grab some nettles from Rat? No. No, we cannot. Categorically. Uh, where's the furthest we can get along here? Oh, no, they're nettles. Okay, right, yeah, we can get nettles. Weird. Um, okay, so it turns out we could have got nettles for ages and ages. Do I need to wear... Oh, I need to wear fucking gloves, don't I? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to go all the way back to cannabis to grab some gloves for fuck's sake. Oh, is that why? Is it because you need leather gloves? That makes sense. Okay, so I think what you need is leather gloves to be able to pick the nettles. And now that... Okay, that makes more sense. Right, so I couldn't get leather gloves before. Let's let's just search that up. Okay, there's no hint given on the website, actually, that you need to have leather gloves. But, potentially... Oh, there's nettles here. and There's nettles everywhere. What the fuck? So there was no hint on the way, on the wiki that you need specifically leather gloves to pick up the nettles, but my thought is potentially that's what the chunk picker was picking up as required to pick the nettles. So I won't make the leather gloves. I'll at least try with the gloves that I can buy in Canopus first. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I'll make the leather gloves. But that's interesting because that means if it's not, I could have actually done this task all along. I mean, it's totally inconsequential because it's just a partial quest so it doesn't really matter but they're everywhere the wiki does not list that there's nettles like that far into um all the way over here what the fuck the wiki literally lists it as being like just below um phasmatis that is bizarre the more you know right so we've grabbed ourselves some purple gloves let's equip those and see if we can pick these nettles and actually get them into our invent be rather exciting if we can. Good. Looks like we can. Good stuff. Right now, I just need to figure out how to uh, get a uh, get the rest of the stuff for a nettle tea because that's what we need. Okay, so after all of that, I have finally figured out why it only just gave us the task, and it was nothing to do with the nettles. As always, I should always trust Source. That guy just knows everything. Um, so, as it turns out, you need a bucket of milk to finish an ethyl tea, and obviously I've only just unlocked the cows north of Lumbridge, and therefore I've only just been able to get access to milk. So, that's what the problem was. Sorry, Source, for ever doubting that the chunk picker was anything other than perfect, because it is always right, and I am always wrong. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go finish off this tea finish off the bits of the quest that we can do, and crack on. The reason I'm going over to Port Phasmatis now is because I need a bowl, and I believe that's the only place I can get one. So here is the bowl that we need. Let's grab that. I need to fill it with water. I don't know if I can actually do that here, can I? Uh, there's no water source listed. 
any water sources in Varrock? Yes. So let's just teleport there, use the nettles, and then I need to heat it on a range. Please tell me my only Oh, no, there's ranges in Varrock, isn't there? Okay, right, let's go. I stopped in the Varrock General Store to buy a bucket, and they just sell bowls. So I'm sure everyone was just fuming at me just then for being such a moron as to not know that a regular general store sells bowls. For fuck's sake. Right, so bowl on the water source, nettles on the bowl. There's our nettle water. And then I think I just need to heat this up. And then I need to get an empty cup, which shouldn't be too bad because I can just leave a cup of tea from the tea stall over there. Uh, this is a, this is a nettle tea is actually relatively complicated. And I reckon I'm quite lucky to have all the things that I need to do. It, although it has taken me 37 ch uh, chunks to do so. So there is a nettle tea, uh, but I believe that's not the one that we need. So what I need to do is just quickly steal from this fella, grab ourselves a cup of tea, drink that, use that on the cup and then I need to go and grab myself a bucket of milk also. Okay, uh, looking at the quest guide again, I quite strongly believe I shouldn't have put that in the cup already. <laughs> I think I should have had it in the invent. But if that's the case, we'll just have to do it again and just try not to die. Uh, this could be an interesting spot for if I ever need to do decent amounts of woodcut. Ooh, that's a good good spot, actually. Oak trees over there, two of them together. If I ever need to do woodcutting, I'm kind of planning on doing two tick woodcutting. Um, and that would be a good spot for it. Right, so let's milk ourselves a dairy cow. There's our bucket of milk. Lovely. And then I believe just in here is where we need to create our coif. So let's do so. There we go. Complete a medium task. And the coif is a best in slot range item for us. Look at that. Looks terrible. <laughs> right, so let's talk to this lovely lady, the old crone, and get on with this task. I've got I went and grabbed an extra nettle tea just because I just couldn't be bothered. Yes, it is right. I need to put it in this special cup. So what talk to her? Oh, and then I need to put some milk in it. All good. Talk to her again. And there she goes. She takes the cup and she is very happy with it. And now I need to go and do something else. Uh, I don't know what the something else is. I think. Um. I think it's something to do with like getting. Yeah, I need to like repair this boat. Uh, which you need some silk to replace the flag, something to sew with, and something to cut the flag into the right size. Uh, okay, that should be fine. I think I can get silk from Varrock, right? Uh, so let's do that. Trade this lady. Yep, grab ourselves a piece of silk. Repair. You replace. Yep. Okay, the top is white. The skull emblem is white. The bottom of the flag is white. Yeah, so this is the part that I can't do because what you need is the dyes to dye the ship and then you put it on the ship and then you cut and then you know that all works out but i don't have access to any dyes at the moment so that is officially the task done we've got the coif we did the lumbridge task that we needed to do we couldn't do the oak log thing and we got the gardening boots so we are completely done and it's time to roll yet another chunk exciting times scary times but exciting times Okay, so we have finished the North Lumbridge chunk, which means the South Lumbridge chunk is now rollable, which does scare me quite a bit because 99 would cut in 99 defense. That would be kind of brutal. Not as brutal as they were for limp work because we do have some better training methods and we do have a better axe, but it would still be kind of brutal. I mean, I picked Canafis because I wanted to get to Barrows on an extreme one chunk, right? That was kind of what I was doing. And we're still not there after this. I mean, just look at the state of the map and we're still not at Barrows. So if we can get Barrows, that'd be perfect. But without much further ado, let's just pick a new chunk. Ooh, another wilderness one. I'm guessing... Oh, I was going to say, I'm guessing that's nothing, but clearly not. Uh, I guess we can path south there, but I'm guessing we can't go west into Burthorpe from here. My thought is this grey line is presumably some kind of mountain range or something that we can't walk over uh, to separate the wilderness from Burthorpe. Um, 
But it appears we can get a black robe top, though. What's that from? Dark wizard, higher level, dark wizard, lower. I'm sure that's probably pretty common. Um, but yeah, that means we've got the whole wilderness ditch all the way along. <laughs> that's bizarre. Uh, I wonder if we get in the goblin village here, if we can do um, goblin diplomacy and such. That would be kind of interesting. And I guess what? We'd also have access into the ice mountain which I don't know if that would give us anything, but I'll tell you what, this is getting us now perilously close to rolling into sort of Tavoli and the Herblore Cape, which would not be fun. I mean, in theory, how many rolls is that? One, two, no, one, two, three, four. Four rolls, in theory, of where you can get in the Herblore Cape, which would be the deathest chunk of deathest chunks. But let's go check out this wilderness chunk, see if there's anything there. Uh, well, there is. We need to go get a, uh, get a black wizard dead and get his black robe uh, but other than that this should be a fairly short chunk so let's head over to the new chunk i cannot believe we've got the whole of the wilderness unlocked and i especially cannot believe that i'm actually in possession of a vigorous chain mace pretty cool look at me oh it's gonna be so good to use this thing finally right so here is the chunk let's just grab the unlock on that oh no not that okay right Let's head over here. So I just want to check 100% that you can't get over the Western Mountains in any way. I'm pretty sure you can't. I think the only way to get over there later on is with the um, agility shortcut uh, for God Wars. Um, but yeah, that's not down here. So yeah, that looks pretty solid to me. I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? Um, okay, cool. Right, so we won't be able to roll further west. We'll have to go south to get through to Berthorpe, which is good news because that is a pretty scary chunk. Uh, but otherwise, let's get killing some dark wizards. And there is level 58 strength, our first strength level with the Vigora's Chain Mace. Look at me swinging it about. It's a thing of beauty. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to use it like doing something proper oh so so happy with this thing and there is the black robe that took you know, what felt like three or four minutes so nice right let's get out of the wilderness and get back into the chunk picker i guess exciting and nerve racking times so there is the black robe top obtained and we are back in the chunk picker so we couldn't go west into berthorpe so we can only go north or south on number 31 or 32. Uh, chunks we want to get, number six. Come on, just give us number six. We want to do barrows. That'll be fun. Chunks we don't want to get, number 30, prayer cape. Obviously, we don't want to be doing that. Uh, the rest of it should be pretty much all right. Um, we've got an awful lot of stuff sort of along this western frontier and not a lot to the right. So I'm guessing we're probably going to get something over here. But let's just get stuck in and hope for the best. Oh, oh, is that, are we going to, nothing? What is that then? Um, right, so that, uh, like, uh, NV-shaped thing is the, like, the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. Um, this is clearly some kind of mine. Uh, don't really know what's there. Uh, that's Black Chins, and is that Black Chins as well? No, no, it's just that. Okay, so Black Chins is pretty close by, but I don't think that really matters for us because we can't get a box trap. Uh, it appears we've missed all of the dungeons and stuff, so it should be all right. I think this one here is um, Calvarian, I think. Uh, so if we go east, we could roll that. Although, although I think actually a bit like RTO in this chunk, that's actually off limits to us. I don't think we can get there without the medium wilderness diary. Um... So that's interesting. Uh, so it looks like we've just got a mine, which might be relevant because I think this might be the mine that people do uh, three tick iron on in uh, free to play. And relative to some of our other bank, uh, our other mines that we have, I mean, we've got the one here, which is running to Var. Well, I guess actually, well, that's worse actually, isn't it? But it might be good if we're power mining because I think there's four iron rocks pretty close together that you can tick manipulate to do, though. I can't actually tick manipulate because I don't have a knife and a teak log or I don't have herbs and tar or the level to do it. So I guess that's all pretty irrelevant, but we'll go we'll go check out what's here anyway. After the fence incident uh, in uh, Al-Karid, 
I'm not making that mistake again of not visiting chunks that we've unlocked. So uh, yeah, let's go check out this one north of the Rev Caves and see what's there. Okay, so we're nearly there. Run past the ghosts and let's see what what. So looks like a big forest ahead of us. Let's unlock that. Head up here. So big forest. Okay, so this is the mine. So there is some so there's hobgoblins here. So once we get 32 quest points and unlock champion scrolls, uh, we now need to get the hobgoblin tra uh, champion scroll from here. There's Myth, there's Coal, there's Addy. Okay, that's interesting then. Um, and yeah, so this is the iron spot I think that they use in, in free-to-play tick manipulating. Uh, so I think what you do is kind of walk between these two, like kind of doing this, 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 and this again, or something like that. Um, because you don't need to use stamina, I believe, to walk between these two tiles and do the tick manipulating. So that is interesting and might be useful for us if we need to train mining in the future. Um, appears to not really be anything else here. Uh, we don't have a pickaxe, so we can't mine any of that stuff. Uh, yet this is black chins, um, but we can't catch them. And so we can kill one though, which is interesting. Uh, they don't give anything. And I guess if we had a box trap, we technically could catch one if our hunter level was high enough. Uh, but as is, we can't. What is to, what is around us then? So yeah, I think this is Calvarian over here. God War staying over here. And then this is an interesting one actually, because I don't think there's anything too impressive up here. I think that's the obelisk, yeah. I don't know what that is. Um and then but this is the Revenant Cave teleport. And we've actually got like two and a half thousand Revenant Cave teleports. Um so that could actually be quite a, a cool little teleport that we have in like reality, right? Because um like that would could get us into the deep wilderness. So we can't really use the obelisks because we'd have to unlock every chunk that an obelisk can teleport to, um, which is just unlikely. So our teleport options around the wilderness are miserable. But if we can get that chunk to the north, uh, we'll actually have a proper wilderness teleport, which would be pretty cool, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to Ferox and I guess we're just going to roll again. And here we are back in the chunk picker. So we have rolled this uh, mid wilderness mine which didn't really give us too much but might be interesting in the future not really sure uh, other than that these three new chunks are available so we want to be avoiding this calvarian one if we can because that wouldn't be fun one day well i guess calvarian would be okay uh god wars no idea what that entails and then this one we probably want to avoid as well because i believe that this is lava dragons uh, we would be able to teleport close to them, but lava dragons nonetheless. Probably not fun. Um, other than that, we're kind of in the same boat as before. We want to get number 6 for the barrage. We want to avoid number 32 for the monastery. Other than that, we're pretty much happy with whatever. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Oh, that, that is the Calvarian one, isn't it? Anything there? Okay, as suspected... I don't think we can actually do Calvarian, which is there, I believe, um, because we don't have the medium diary. But yeah, we we have we definitely have black chins now, like black chins proper, the spot. Um, we're pretty. Oh, okay. So that's not lava dragons. This is lava dragons. Lava dragon Isle. Okay. So if we roll one north now, if we can safe spot them over here, there's probably an argument that I should be getting the draconic visage. Not sure how that one would work. <laughs> um, furnace there as well, by the looks of it. Um, but whatever. Let's let's go and uh, explore. See 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 what's there. Looks like nothing. Looks like we're going to be rolling again, but it's probably worth going and having a look. Right. So the mine is to our west. So I think this is the chunk we need to unlock, which is the black chins one, and this one here with the furnace. So let's go into here and grab it. There we go. Right, so we've got black chins up to the north here, kind of irrelevant for us at the moment. But actually, do you know what? One day we will unlock Hunter, and one day we will have box traps, and that day will be great. Um, yeah, so I think this is Calvarian, right? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay, I, I don't... It's not telling me it's... Oh, no. Hang, hold on. Or is this Spindle? I think this is Spindle, actually, not... The, the webs kind of outside make it look... It's either Spindle or it's Calvarian, one of the two. Um, but either way, we can't do it. 
Uh, I think this is a steel plate leg spawn over there, right? Uh, don't use that on another account relatively recently. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Not very useful for us, seeing as we've got 1.1 bill in the bank. Other than that, though, nothing I can deem as being particularly useful. Um, can we see anything interesting from up here? So I think that's the... Oh, I have no idea. Uh, that's Lava Dragon Isle, though, there. So we're pretty close to that now, which is kind of nerve-wracking. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing to do here. So I might, seeing as I've got no gear on me, I might just log out here. Because if we roll again around here, that would be that would be annoying to come all the way back up. Uh, deadly Red Spiders probably don't give us anything. They might drop Red Spiders' eggs, which might be useful. Uh, but yeah, no tasks here. So <laughs> let's roll again. Right, so we are back in the chunk picker and it is starting to look like a bit of a mess and a hodgepodge up here. This is like by far our most dense zone. I guess this is kind of dense as well. So again, it's probably pretty likely we're going to push this western, north, northwestern, southwestern frontier. Um, number 17, I don't actually know what's there, so that would be a bit of a surprise. Number 22 is definitely Lava Dragon, so that would be scary. Um... Other than that, the rest of it is pretty much the same, I believe. So, yeah, wanting to avoid, num uh, avoid number 33 for the monastery, get number 6 for the barrows. Other than that, we're pretty freewheeling. Although now I probably want to avoid the lava dragons as well, but I don't think the time on that would be, like, abysmally bad. Um, but, yeah, let's just roll again and see how we do. Ooh, what's that? Right, western wilderness. Probably nothing again, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like nothing. Um, pushing us closer to, what, Crazy Archaeologist, I think, is there? Um, so that could be interesting indeed. Um, other than that, yeah, uh, I should go and check it out, shouldn't I, just in case. But we're getting kind of close to this. I, d I wonder if I can do this shortcut in reverse without having done these quests. Surely not, that seems unlikely. But yeah, kind of pushing close to Crazy Archaeologist now, which would be... I don't know, would that be cool? Yeah, I guess so, because I've got a scepter now, so it would be positively doable. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Cool, right, let's go check out this chunk and just confirm 100% there's nothing there, because as I think I said earlier in this video, I am scarred from this one where I didn't bother to go and check that uh, I could walk in the top of here. So, yeah, let's go and check out that chunk and just 100% confirm there is nothing that we can do. One of the things I just thought about whilst I'm on my way over here is that Again, based on something I've been doing on another account, uh, the Crazy Archaeologist drops a rune crossbow. Is that useful to us? I don't know if I can get but any decent bolts, at least, in any good quantity. But a rune crossbow is kind of a big item to be able to get. So if we roll that chunk, that would be kind of cool. Um, this is the chunk we've just unlocked. Let's unlock it and have a look in here and just check 100% that there is nothing of you oh is this green dragons this is the west green dragon spot isn't it oh that could be kind of useful to us it's slightly lower level wilderness and slightly closer to Farrakh's enclave uh what one two three four chunks rather than one two three four five six yeah way closer okay that would be so if we get a prayer chunk now which would be the worst but if we get it that's a lot better so that's pretty cool um looks like it's pretty desolate of bots as well at least right now um nothing that we can drag into this chunk we can't go west either um yeah looks 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 like yes it is indeed nothing but the green dragons is very useful to us potentially so that is pretty cool to get i must say uh but yeah i guess I guess I'll just log out here and roll another chunk. So we are back in the chunk picker and the only new chunk is this one, which is the Crazy Archaeologist, which could be interesting. Uh, that's at least a boss that we could go and get some kill count on, which would be pretty cool. Probably has some combat tasks as well, so that would be interesting to get our first combat tasks. Amazing that we spent 77 days playtime on this account and don't have a single boss kill count in anything, because revenants do not count. Um, but other than that, I believe we're in the same spot as before. We want to get number six for the barracks. We want to avoid number 33 for the monastery. 
Um, the wilderness section here is looking like an absolute mess at the moment. Um, so hopefully we can kind of fill this in with some of these like, well, I don't know. I don't want hardly any of these. Um, but hopefully we can get something good. Without much further ado, let's roll. Ooh, it's, that's LMS. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is last month's. Okay, yeah, it is last man standing, but it's not giving it up here in the tasks, and I know why. So the reason it's not giving last man standing up there in the tasks is because I don't have 1,500 total yet. To access last man standing without... Okay, let me just go and research it, and I'll come back and tell you the actual facts. Okay, so last man standing. If you have less than 30 quest points, which I do, I've got like five or something from the smattering of quests I've been able to do in these chunks, you have to have 1,500 total to enter. I don't have that yet. I'm less than 1,200, so I'm at least, you know, 320-ish total levels away. So I can't actually do Last Man Standing yet. What I will say, though, is that... um. I will be doing Last Man Standing. I will do the collection log for Last Man Standing, green log it completely, get the thousand wins cape and all that good stuff. I definitely will do that. Um, I obviously won't do it in this chunk because I don't have the total level yet and there's no real requirement. Oh, fuck. What's that? Longbone and... Oh, for fuck's sake. What do I have to get longbone and cur cur a curved bone? That is one of the, like, the worst things. It's like a one in 5,000. I have no idea what I'm going to get it from. Um... Sorry, right, back to Last Man Standing. I will do the green log of Last Man Standing, the Thousand Wind Capes included. I think some people, for some reason, thought my tone in the previous um, episodes implied that I wouldn't, based on the comments. But I will do the Last Man Standing log. I'm not going to do it in this chunk yet, because it's not a task yet. I don't actually have to do it. What's this wilderness task? Kill a map. Oh, that'll be it then. Kill the map. The mammoths drop big bones, right? So that'll be... Okay, so we're killing mammoths to get a curved bone and a long bone. Um, so we don't have the last man standing tasks yet, and that's because we don't have the total level. But um, I will get it one day. I mean, I'm going to hit 1,500 total or 30 quest points at some point. Um, so at that point is when I'm going to come back to this chunk and do the last man standing stuff. Luckily, the chunk picker is clever enough to filter that out automatically for me. Very nice of a uh, source there. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, I'm going to do the last man standing log one day. I personally think that what I might do is either split it up across... So the only reason I'm actually doing this is because of YouTube as opposed to for my own sake. I don't mind Last Man Standing, to be fair. It's quite fun. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily mind doing a thousand kills, you know, in a row. That, that A thousand wins in a row. That wouldn't be that bad for me. Um, but for the YouTube's sake, that would make an awfully boring video or an awfully long break between two videos. So even so, when I hit 1,500 total, which is probably more likely than 30 quest points, um, I will come back and do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the chunk that I'm in. If I'm in a stupid death chunk, like say I'm getting 99 rune crafting on earth runes or something, something shit like that, then yeah, I'll 100% do it all in that chunk. If I hit 1500 total from like a nothing chunk, like, you know, like I have to get like 10 mining levels and that's it. Um, and, and that tips me over the 1500 threshold. I probably won't do it all in one chunk. I might set something like 50 wins and then roll another chunk, 50 wins and then roll another chunk, assuming, you know, I had all the other stuff done. Um, because I think that would just kind of keep the series flowing a bit better. Um, but I guess the best case scenario for the integrity of the series, so to speak, is that I get 1500 total in some kind of other death chunk and then I can use the last man standing to break it up a bit. Um, but other than that, we're not doing it yet. But looking at this task list, it looks like what we're doing then is getting a curved bone from mammoths, which is a grind which might take a long time because I don't think mammoths are actually the lowest level NPC. It would have been much better to get that on hill giants or moss giants or something like that but mammoths <laughs> that could be tough right let's go check out this chunk have a look what else is in here i guess yeah we, we kind of have a canoe system now do we because i think i oh, know we don't have any of the other canoes yet um okay yeah so right let's let's just go check out the chunk and see what's there
Right, so we are back at Farrax Enclaves, and this is the chunk that we've unlocked. So this is a chunk that we've actually been in quite a lot, because we obviously bought the um, the death place in Farrax Enclave, so now we can actually use that, you know, legitimately. Um, let's unlock it. feels weird to have this chunk not be greyed out. That's very, very strange. Um, so there's Last Man Standing. We cannot go in, I believe. I don't think I'll be able to do it in this world at all anyway. Um, so that's fine. We need 1,500 total to do that. Uh, the canoe station's pretty cool, I guess, maybe in the future. Um, so that's pretty interesting. One of the cool things about this, though, is that we will be able to use the Clan Wars teleport now because the Clan Wars teleport uh, takes you over here. And we'll also be able to use Rings of Dueling. Oh, my God, that will be cool. So, yeah, the Clan Wars teleport and the Ring of Dueling teleport is now actually open to us. So we have... Another teleport. I've, I have been able to teleport to Varrock as like my only thing. Uh, but now we can teleport here, which is pretty interesting. Right. Uh, dungeon over there. I should probably have a look down there. I don't actually know what's down there. Um, let's have a look. Some kind of soul wars. Interesting. Now, okay, is there anything else? Uh, okay, looks like I can't, can't go that way. Okay, is that just set dressing over there, <laughs> I guess? Uh, okay, right, so we do have a soul portal there, uh, and we do have this person here, which I think is something to do with the Void Waker or something like that. Um, what I'll say about Soul Wars, though, is I don't think I can use that portal, can I? Because I think Soul Wars has its own, its own place down to the southwest, right? Yeah. So this is the lobby for Soul Wars. So I guess now that becomes an unlockable chunk. And if I unlock that, then I guess I get Soul Wars from there. Um, so that's interesting. So we could actually, for the first time on this account, unlock a chunk that's like on the other side of the map. So that could be interesting indeed. Uh, so that's Soul Wars, rollable. God, that's weird. Okay. Um, so we've got also Castle Wars Portal. Um that one wouldn't work the same though so yeah there's a castle wars portal there which could in theory teleport us to castle wars but i can you know as limpwort said you know if you can walk there then it's off limits so i can walk over to castle wars right i could unlock a set of chunks over here over the course of many many years uh to get me to castle wars but there is no way that i could walk to soul wars same as I can't walk to Pest Control, I'd have to get the boat from Port Sarim. Um, so yeah, I can't walk to put, uh, uh, the Isle of Souls and the only ways to get there is, well I thought it was the only Soul Wars portal was the one in Edgeville, but it turns out there's one here as well. Um, but I don't really see why they're any different, they both just teleport you here. So yeah, that will be an interesting one if we get that. Um, but other than that, we need to have a look outside of Barracks Enclaves because that's where the interesting stuff is for this chunk in terms of the unlocks. So we need to head over here. I think the mammoths are just over here, right? Yeah, so we can now use this obelisk, but obviously we can't use that obelisk. There's an altar over there, so we could regen our prayer while doing the mammoths on that, which would probably save us some of our blighted super restores. The good thing is, though, I guess, actually, in comparison to hill giants or something like that, even though Mammoths are pretty high level, level 80, and I think they've got I think more hit points than that. 130! I thought it was like 100. Okay, 130 hit points. So even though they're very high level, they are in the wilderness. So we can use our wilderness weapons to the best of their ability. So I could kill these with a crossbow and hit, you know, 34s on them. Or I could kill them with a scepter and hit, I think, the same. Or I could kill them with a mace. I think what I'm going to do is, even though it will take longer is kill them with the mace because I feel like just getting those strength levels up is just going to be useful for me in the long run. Um, so we're going to need to kill circa 5,000 mammoths. Uh, I don't know what our gear setup is going to be for it. I'm not going to skull up using the avarice. I don't think the like plus one max hit is worth it. Uh, but I will wear some of the other stuff uh, that we have. Um, I think I think these, this is our kind of best in slot for melee. Where's my rune kite shield? There it is. So I think other than the avarice, this is our best in slot for, for melee. Look at that bat. That, like, that looks cool. That's a cool setup. Uh, so I'll get that. Maybe I'll use my ring of wealth. 
No, I should use my ring of dueling because it acts now as, oh, where is it? I don't have one, but I can make one with the gold bar and the ring mold and the emerald. Okay, so I might make a couple of rings of dueling because I think that will be a good panic telly for us. It's unlikely that someone gets on us whilst we're out there because we're so close to the bank and in such low level wilderness, but there is a chance. Uh, so let's charge this up with like 1100 ether. That's the first time I've actually charged this up. There we go. Does it look different? Maybe? I think it's glowing. Was it glowing before? I'm not sure. Um, but we now have it charged up, which is very, very nice. So that will now hit, I think, 21s, maybe 22, something like that. Uh, and hopefully we should get quite a bit of strength levels on this grind. I mean, hopefully not too many, uh, because it would not be fun to go very, very dry on a curve bone. Uh, but if we can get, you know, up to like 70, something like that, that would kind of make the whole account just a lot more well-rounded, which I think would be nice. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. I might just go make those rings of dueling real quick and then come back. Um, and then we can use those as panic tellies and yeah, start cracking on with this grind. It's the only thing we've got to do is just kill a load of mammoth. So I decided I couldn't be asked to go and make the Ring of Dueling, seeing as our only furnaces are in awful locations. But one thing I am going to be doing in this chunk, now that we don't have to fight back PKs particularly, is PK Skull Prevention. I do not want to be sculling with this mace by accident, because that would not be good. We spent a fucking long time getting it, and I do not want to lose it. Uh, so let's run over here. And I guess start our first mammoth kills. Um, I probably am going to one tick flick the majority, if not all of this. So yeah, we okay. So we hit twenty fours with a chain mace. That's pretty good considering we're what fifty eight strength. Um, oh, this is multi combat. Is that good or bad? Well, I'm not skull, so I can't get smited for anything useful. Uh, and it probably makes it a bit more AFK for me if I do want to AFK. Um. I've not actually looked up what the drop table of mammoths is. If I start getting anything interesting, then I guess we'll have some more clips. Okay, we killed the first mammoth and we got some steel arrows and some big bones. I'm not going to bother with the big bones. I think just the amount of XP they are for me is kind of inconsequential um, because I've got green dragons and I've got even those new green dragons that are quite good. Um, I'm also going to just try and kill some of these without any protection prayers at all and see if it's all right. It seems to be. I've killed one and a half and they've not hit me once. So potentially I can kill these without protect from melee pretty easily. So that would actually be a big benefit in terms of making it AFK, making it so that I can do it whilst on mobile, that kind of thing. Um, this one's hit me a couple of times. It's not hit very big. I don't know what the max hit is. Um... But yeah, we're going to be in here for the long haul. 130 health each. What, 5,000 of them on average? So that means that we're, we're going to have to deal 650,000 damage on average. Which sounds like a lot when your max hit is like 24 or 21 if the prayer's off. Uh, so <laughs> that may not be fun. 650,000 damage though times what? 4 XP is 2.6 mil XP. So that would take us up to 2.8 mil strength XP, which is, what, not as high as those, but higher than those. So somewhere between 80 and 87, probably something like 82, 83. That would be decent. So what, on rate, we're going to get 83, uh, 83 strength. That's pretty good. That will bring us a lot more in line with our other ones. Obviously, our range and mage are, like, ridiculous in comparison. Um... But, that's the baby monitor running out of battery. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're kind of laughing, to be honest. Uh, we're going to get a pretty high strength level unless we absolutely spoon the curved bone. But that doesn't seem particularly likely, seeing it's a 1 in 5,000. And our, our RNG on some pretty bleak stuff is uh, not good. I mean, it took us, what, 72,000 revenants? That's four times the rate of the chain mace. So... We could be talking 20,000 mammoths to get this curved bone. And if we did that, it'd be what? 2.6 mil XP times 4? We'd be, yeah, nearly 99 strength. So hopefully we don't go equally as dry again and we can spoon something for once. Uh, that would be pretty good. But yeah, this is where we are at for now. Killing mammoths. Ooh, that's a very interesting drop that I did not know that these guys dropped. A one-dose prayer potion, which is the first non-blighted, like, uh, 
kind of prayer potion thing that I've had. Obviously, I've got these super stores, which are great, but outside the wilderness and off a PvP world, they're actually totally useless to me. But that is just a pure vanilla prayer potion, which could be massive for me. Something like Barrow, if I can get a decent amount of those, I don't know what the drop rate is. If I get a decent amount of those, then something like Barrows would actually be a lot more fun having those as like an emergency backup because I wouldn't need to go on to uh, PvP world. Um, so that's very interesting. Uh, I'm getting about 54 to 55k strength XP per hour killing these, uh, which means I'm getting just over 100 kills per hour, something like 104 kills per hour, which I think isn't too... I need to make sure not to click that by accident. That would be awkward. Um, which I think is not too bad. Um... It means I'd be done in, what, 50 hours if I go on drop rate. My strength level is going to increase, so my kills per hour should increase a little bit as well. So we're probably talking about 40 to 45 hours to hit the curved bone drop rate of uh, 1 in 5,000. Hopefully, though, our RNG can just turn around slightly and we can we can get, get it early. Um, the long bone is about 1 in 400, so it should only take us about 4 hours to get that. So that's really not too bad. Um, but yeah, 50 something KXP per hour at 58 strength is, I think, really good. We're going to absolutely fly through levels, assuming we don't just spoon both of the bones straight away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look up what this prayer potion drop rate is. So the drop rate is 1 in 25, which isn't too bad. So I, I, I went a little bit dry for it. I've killed 37 of these so far. Um... So 25 of them, that means I'll get a full one every, like, 100 kills. So we're talking, uh, what, 50 full prayer pots, assuming we go on drop rate of 1 in 5,000. That's quite a lot. I mean, it's not, like, a really good amount. There's not anything that's going to do us for a huge long grind, necessarily. But to be used sparingly, that's quite cool. Uh, the rest of the drops from these aren't too bad either. A lot of seeds, some herbs, that kind of thing, uh, which, you know, aren't too great, like kill to kill, like revenants are, but will probably stack up to be somewhat useful to us in the future, uh, particularly if we unlock hops patches and that kind of thing, because um, I've got, I think, quite a lot of like uh, potato seeds and that kind of thing in the, in the looting bag. Let's take a look. Uh... Yeah, so just some, some kind of miscellaneous low-level seeds, which sound not good, but like I have a lot of like high-level tree seeds and stuff from the Revenant grind, so actually where I'm missing quite a lot of loot is that low-level seed, low-level farming stuff. So they're actually disproportionately use, uh, useful to me. Well, I guess that's that. There is the long bone done very early indeed. Hopefully we can uh, get the curved bone as quickly as that as well. Long bone after 50 mammoth, which means that we, if we can go that uh, wet, <laughs> is it wet? It's the opposite of dry, uh, for the curved bone, that means 1250 to get the curved bone. So yeah, cool to get the long bone done early in the collection log. Uh, nice getting a collection log after so long. I think that is the first collection log item that I have, in fact, that isn't either on the random event log or the um, or the revenant log. So that's pretty interesting. Nice. Right. So my weapon has run out of ether, which was eleven hundred. I think I got. So it took eleven hundred ether to get eighty kills. So to get 5,000 kills, we're talking something around the region of, what, 70,000 ether? Which sounds like a lot. And do you know what? That is a lot. Because I've got 712,000 from that entire Revenant's grind. So that means I'm going to use 10% of my ether already just killing the mammoths over there. Fuck, I'm going to run out of ether like, and, like quick, aren't I? Fuck. And there is 60 strength. Look at that. Base 60s on the melees now, which is pretty cool. And we're going to keep on strength and try and grow that as far as possible.
How have I ended up in this scenario again, where it's just one line, one task to complete the chunk, and it's just me waiting around for a stupid one in God knows how many thousand to uh to get it. The mace grind lasted far too fucking long, so hopefully this uh, curved bone grind can last slightly less time. But I'm basically just doing the same bloody thing again. I, I, I mean, that's just one chunk, isn't it, I guess? Although, I want a nice skilling grind. A nice skilling grind would be nice. I mean, a barrows would be the best. But other than that, like, just, you know, give me something pleasant. Like, get 74 thieving or, or, you know, just something where I can, like, see the goal, get the goal. These RNG ones, <laughs> I'm scarred after revenants. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this thing dropping one dose prayer potions and them not going into the looting bag because of the settings that I've got is so dangerous that urge to just click the one dose prayer potion instead of the four dose super restores is just so real. I've almost clicked the regular prayer potion so many times now. Um, I should probably just decant them now, but I kind of just want to get a load of one doses in the bag because I think that would look cool. Um, I could also, I guess, change the looting bag settings as well, but I quite like that the lobsters go to my invent because I use those instead of the blighted food. So, yeah, that's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nice. I hit um, 65 strength a little while ago and didn't even notice. So I've got 283 kills on the PC and about 120 on mobile. So we're kind of approaching like 10% of the drop rate. Um, hopefully we can get it earlier rather than later. And I guess that's where we'll call it. We're already up to an hour and a half, so probably don't need to go on much longer. Um, in the next video, we'll definitely get the curved bone and roll some more chunks. So look forward to that. Please check out the website and the desk mats. Put a lot of work into them, a lot of work into the animation to get the screen grabs to do the... Uh, the desk mats, they look so so good so please just check out the website and, and you know, if you fancy it, grab one um, massive thank you to the channel members as always and we have three new ones which is very exciting Patrick Wright who has upgraded from the legend tier to the rune tier big up Patrick Wright Uber Hasu in the legend tier who has actually been subscribed for a few weeks but I for some reason forgot to shout him out and put him in the video so uh, thank you Uber Hasu and our newest channel member Hannibal who also has a YouTube series doing uh, I think Supreme One Chunk in Sears Village which is quite good so feel free to check him out if you want to as well and thank you for becoming a channel member the rest of the channel members as always thank you to those guys Fontcest, Sir Yolo, and Taufin at the Amethyst tier. Crito, Fireball Tech, Cyanscape, Cornstalk Hands at the Rune tier. Elpin in Come Crumpet, Teeters, Bra and Brad Norsium at the Legend tier. And all of our gold tier members, some of which have been around for a long, long time. So huge thank you to those guys. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Crowporo, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asharanka, Dominic G, and Spooky Pasta. Thank you to all of the channel members. If you fancy becoming a channel member, you can also do that over at my website. So that could be uh, something that you might want to do, I guess, uh, if you don't have the funds to get desk mats. Though I would really recommend the desk mats. Desk mats. Buy desk mats. Thank you for watching. Cheers. <laughs>